What up guys, Zudo here. Today is Wednesday. Wait. What the hell are you doing? No, get the hell off my fucking shirt. I'll tell you that much for nothing. No. Sit. Yeah, try to tell a cat to sit. You stay off my jacket. Jacket, my new M&M shirt. Yeah, so I've got that coming up here today. America Dad Series 7. Ace Control when nature calls, ten point. And yeah. What are you doing, Ruby? Jump, jump, a little higher. Jump, 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 Where's your toy? <laughs> Sit. Sit all the way. No, put the butt down on the frown. Look, see, it's not a butt. Sit. <coughs> you want your toy, you baby? <laughs> okay. Ready? Alright. Good girl. Crazy dog. Oh, sorry, so Did I eat a pop or? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's get this Wednesday started. Popping up to the shop in a minute. <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, I do. I'll get my water. Keep forgetting to get my water. I'll get the Evian water, obviously. Everyone, you know that anyway, probably. Vlog number 40. 40 consecutive days of vlogging. It's nice. But yeah. Gonna go to the shop, get my water, a couple of other bits. I suppose. Come back, Bob's your uncle. Well, Bob isn't my uncle, Michael's called Gary. Look, Gary! Anyway. Yeah. Let's go to the shop. Yeah, I thought it was a can, huh? but Yeah. Life goes on. Today's story time, story day. It's Wednesday. Um, I suppose there's something I can tell. The story of how I started smoking, why, and then telling everyone about it, and what age I was, and all that, and the stuff that was going on. As to why I started, maybe it could be the reason, I don't know. I can't really remember the reason. But yeah, I've been telling that. I'm the usual place on the wall. But yeah. Yeah, so yeah. See you, you know where. Got the lights. Not, not very busy today. It's good. Well, I don't know what's like in the shop. Maybe not as bad. It's the other day. Ugh, shit. But yeah. Ugh. Well, I don't know what to say now. I'm supposed to be doing that. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah. So he's blew his engine in. Oh fuck, it does look busy. And I forgot to bring a fucking bag, so I've got to pay for a fucking bag. There's one like price. Damn it. I hate paying for bags. You get the whole fucking house filled up with them soon. Sharpens. But yeah. Sunlight's giving me a headache. Cool. Right. Anyway guys, see you when I get out to tell the story. Oh, that's out the fucking way. Ugh. And I've got a big bag here. It's going to be hard to take home. So I've got 
eight cans of Pepsi Max, six pints of milk, and eight big bottles of water. Plus other stuff. Heavy. Yeah, that's life. But yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's quite warm. You can probably see the sun down. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, story. Um, I started smoking. I started smoking when I was 11 years old, I think. The reason I don't, I can't remember that much too much, too much. But at that time, my nan was in hospital, dying of cancer. My first hand, which is my mum's mum. Um, that was about 2007, I think. Anyway, I was 11 years old. I, I can't say that's the reason I started smoking because I really don't know. I can't remember, but yeah, I started smoking at 11. Um, I was smoking months before I told my mum, I told her at the hospital. So I was looking to fag, I think. But, yeah, I was getting them off my sister before, and when I did start, I didn't have no wristers and that, so I was rolling it up in A4 paper. That was a bad idea. But yeah, life went on. I used to go around my dad's every other weekend. Then it gradually got to like every weekend, now and again. He's up in New Milton. Sort of area. But yeah, I used to go up there on the weekends and I used to um, manage to get fags or something before I went up there. And if I wanted a fag, no one knew there, so I used to go out into the woods because, you know, secluded area. I used to go out there to have a fag every now and again when I wanted one. Um, and then when I started doing that, my, um, my little stepbrother used to want to come with me. So I used to just tell him that he didn't know what it was at the time. So he didn't make typical notes of it. Until one day, um, I was 16, I'd left school, and this was probably my second to last weekend I went around to my dad's. And we went out in the car to do something, and that's when I told him I smoked. He didn't seem that surprised. He said my little stepbrother, told him a few months beforehand or something that when I went out to the woods and he used to come with me I used to smoke a cigarette so obviously he didn't know what it was so he, he had already told that but he didn't say anything I mean parents can't say too much can they if they smoke because then it's hypocritical so but you know but smoking at 11 is not good it's not a good thing to smoke so I wouldn't recommend it obviously no one would very bad for you and your lungs and everything really but even though both my nans had cancer, they didn't die of from smoking. Because the first nan to go, she basically she knocked herself on uh, a worktop or a door or something, and that's how she got cancer in the bone or something, and it spread, went went everywhere. And then my second nan, and uh, yeah, my first one smoked, but it wasn't because because of, because of that. In my second hand, she got um, lung cancer, or it spread to her lungs. She didn't smoke, she walked to work and back every day. She was quite healthy, you know. But that's life, isn't it? That's, you don't know, life is too short. You can get something like that, you can get cancer, you can get anything, hit you. At a press of a button, just like that, you can get it out of the blue, even if you're healthy and fit. Doesn't matter what you do in life, you don't choose what happens to you or how you die, but life is too short, live life to the max. You never know what's going to happen or what's around the corner. <clears throat> so, yeah. Live like there's no tomorrow.
<coughs> you never know. Life's a bitch, really. You don't know what's going to happen. Anyone can go out. Anyone can just suddenly die from anything. Or even when you're out, the unexpected could be expected that day and it could happen. Or you could come down with something, which turns serious, anything can happen. So don't hold grudges. And forgive those that deserve to be forgiven. And don't worry about the past. As long as you've got, you know you've got a bright future to look forward to. And if you don't see a future, that's good. Then just believe you will have a future that's good. You know, don't don't be down, don't be upset, because life's just short to be upset. If you if if there's a plan for every human being and you don't know that plan, it could be tomorrow, that could be it. You don't know, so don't dwell on the past. It's futile. It's it's bollocks. So Look forward to the future. If you know you've got a bright future, or if you don't know you've got a bright future, just believe you have. And just live life the way you want to live. Live it. Do what you want to do. Live your dreams. Keep smiling. And never give up. And that's that. Live life the way you want to. Don't let anyone stop you living your dreams. Just get out there and do it. Life's too short. Anyway. See you guys later. Ready soon, then that's it. I'm tired for some reason, but yeah, and I'm gonna end the vlog soon, so see you in a sec. Yeah, watching American American Dad season one. Why not? Yeah, I'm really tired today. I don't know why. More tired when you're off work, especially because I'm not doing anything. Why is the colour going all fucked up? No. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's it for tonight. Today. Whatever. Meh. But, uh, 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 uh. but yeah, that's life. Got a load of tickets for the lottery tonight. Fingers crossed. I've got like, what, five lines for Lotto Hot Picks, seven lines for Lotto, and ten lines for Thunderball, I think. Go, how much does all that come to? That's five, that's fifteen. That's £29, I think, on the lottery tonight. But not on the same thing, just on, on them all. Down, well, yeah, all of them. Except you're a million, obviously, because that's not on tonight. So yeah, hopefully I get something on that. But yeah, getting out of here now, guys. Getting a headache. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and like the video. If you haven't already, subscribe button below. Subscribe to see my daily vlogs every single day. And that's it. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.